Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to your hope and a future. So, Father, today we want to pray for global economic transformation that benefits the poor, the unemployed, the disabled, and all others who are financially disadvantaged. Peter 5.10, and the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Father, today we want to pray for global economic transformation that benefits the poor, the unemployed, the disabled, and all others who are financially disadvantaged. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Father, again, we just want to pray for global economic transformation that benefits the poor, the unemployed, the disabled, and all others who are financially disadvantaged. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as your trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope and the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. I am so appreciative of that. Father, today we want to pray for global economic transformation that benefits the poor, the unemployed, the disabled, and all others who are financially disadvantaged. 2 Corinthians 13, 11. Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice, strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Once again, Father, today we want to pray for global economic transformation that benefits the poor, the unemployed, the disabled, and all others who are financially disadvantaged. Okay. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And finally, Father, once again, I come before you and just ask that today we want to pray for global economic transformation that benefits the poor, the unemployed, the disabled, and all others who are financially disabled. <laughs>